Hello and welcome to another Betfred Sports video right here in the Quest Media Network studio. Now today, we're going to start off with the Champions League draws because they were made at around 5 o'clock on Thursday evening. There's some fantastic ties to look forward to. So in Group G, that includes Manchester City, Borussia Dortmund, Seville and Copenhagen. Uh, in Group E, which is Chelsea's group, we've got AC Milan, Dinamo Zagreb and Salzburg. Group B's Tottenham's group. They've also got Frankfurt, Sporting Lisbon and Marseille. And then, of course, Liverpool in Group A. They've got Ajax, Napoli and Rangers. So, Peter, some, uh, some interesting groups there. Uh, how's it look odds-wise for the Champions League? Well, we had City as favourites um, at Betfred, the 5-2. to two. And they stayed at 5-2 to two because that's a highly favourable draw for City. Um, it's a return from Haaland back to Dortmund. So, they'll be playing against um, his old club there. Um, where it's obviously reached cult status. Um, so City are five to two favourites to win the Champions League. It's, it's a huge deal, a huge, huge matter this for Manchester City's Abu Dhabi owners because that is the, uh, the reason some people would say why they invested in the club. They wanted City to play on the global stage yeah. and there's no, no, nothing bigger than the Champions League, which is the ri richest club competition in the world. Yeah. So City are five to two with us to uh, go and win it for the first time in the history. No United, of course. Um, Liverpool, they're eleven to two. Um, they've got this uh, battle of Britain, as it'll no doubt be dubbed, against Rangers. Um, uh, Spurs are fourteen to one, and Chelsea sixteen to one. Excellent stuff. So just to recap then, looking at the Champions League odds for our local sides, or side competing in the Premier League, should I say, uh, Manchester City priced at 5-2, to two. not bad odds then. We've also got Liverpool at 11-2, to two. Chelsea at 16-1, to one. and Tottenham Hotspur, new boys of course, backing it after a long period away. They are 14-1. to one. Well, we're going to move into the Premier League now because there's lots of fixtures to look forward to this weekend. In the early kickoff on Saturday, Manchester United make the long trip to Southampton. Uh, Peter, looking at the odds for this one, United are fourteen to five. The draw sixteen to five, and Southampton are ten to three. But Southampton are coming into this game with a bit of confidence. They came from behind to beat Leicester last weekend, and that actually marked their first win in nine Premier League games. Yeah, but Manchester United are on a huge roll after that victory against Liverpool. Um, and the, as you say, they're 4-5 to five to go on and get another three points against Southampton. The odds on United winning the Premier League have been slashed in half. They're now 50-1 to one from 80-1 to one, uh, to win the Premier League outright. And Betfred have City 4-11, to 11, so odds on there to win the Premier League outright. Liverpool, despite a very, very poor start, in fact, United are ahead of Liverpool, <laughs> don't you love saying that, um, they're 13-2 to two to go and win the Premier League. Arsenal 11-1. to one. Uh, Betfred have Spurs at 12 to 1, Chelsea 20 to 1. Newcastle, um, up and running now. They've got a half decent team together now. Um, they're 100 to 1, and we are getting a lot of Georges back in Liber uh, Newcastle to, yeah. to win the league outright because of the um, investment from the um, Saudi Arabians in that, in that club. Um, so ahead of the Southampton United game, as I say, we have uh, United odds on to win that. Ronaldo, big question mark about whether he'll actually start. Mm. I think that's a, a sign of uh, signs to come there that yeah. um, he could be starting on the bench and he is a super sub um, um, par excellence. You know, yeah. a super sub there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anyway, it's five to six to score any time. Uh, to score first, and you know, obviously you'd have to start there or most likely have to start, uh, it's five to two. Uh, Martial to score first is ten to three. Um, Fernandez to score first nine to two. Rashford, um, now he's back in form, mm. and that's fantastic news for us Mancunians because he's uh, born in Willingshaw, raised at the academy. He's thirteen to two to score first. And if you think the new signing Casemiro will do the business, well, he's <laughs> fifteen to two. Term to score any time for United. Well, there you go then. Marcus Rashford and Jaden Sancho will both be looking uh, to follow up their goals on Monday evening's victory over Liverpool. And as Pete just said, then if you do fancy Rashford to score first at St Mary's, he's priced at 13 to 2. Well, later on Saturday, we've got Manchester City hosting Crystal Palace, of course. Manchester City's last Premier League fixture was at Newcastle United, ended in a free all draw. And then on Wednesday night, they made the trip to Barcelona, ended 3 3. Uh, do you think that'll take it out of them a bit? Well, it was a charity event to raise money um, for um, health problems for one of the right. previous players of Barcelona. Um, 
So it was a bit of a strange one that, I must say, to go off to Spain. Um, but Guardiola does this kind of thing every now and then. Um, and uh, it will have taken a little out of them. But not enough for them to be beaten by Crystal Palace, I hope. <laughs> uh, Bet Fred have City 1-5, to five, so huge uh, odds on there, um, to beat Palace. Palace 16-1. to one. Um, but Palace are no mugs, they've no. got uh, Zaha in the team and he can cause damage to any, any club, that's Liverpool. Um, we've got Haaland to score the first goal, he's 7-4 to four, uh, favourite, um, and Mahrez is 7-2, to two. De Bruyne 4-1, to one. and Phil Foden 5-1 to one to score the first goal with that friend. So as Pete just said then, Crystal Palace are no mugs, and in their last Premier League fixture, they actually came from behind to beat Aston Villa 3-1, so this could be a tricky one for Manchester City, and if you do fancy Haaland to score a hat-trick on Saturday, he's now priced at 13-2. to two. Well, just very quickly, we've got a fixture tonight in the Vanarama National League, it's Oldham Athletic taking on Older Shot Town, Oldham looking to reverse two defeats in a row, their price at 4-6 to six for the victory, the draw is 3-1, to one. and for Older Shot to pick up the three points at Boundary Park, they are priced at 19 to 5. Well, we'll move into some Betfred Super League news now because the big one this week, Toulouse have been relegated. They were defeated by Catalans, uh, an all French class. So that will be quite a sweet one for Catalans. Yeah, um, Catalans have now secured um, uh, a playoff position in the uh, Betfred Super League. Um, the 7 to 1 to win the grand final outright. Uh, we have Saints who play Wigan um, tonight. <clears throat> They're evens to win the uh, grand final. Wigan nine to four. Uh, Salford had a great victory last night as well against Hull FC. They're twenty to one to win the grand final, um, and they are, are looking like they're going to secure a, a top six finish to enable them to um, compete in the latter stages of mm. this uh, fantastic competition. Um, so we've got Wigan against um, Saints. That is the huge um, fixture of this round of fix of games. Um, we've got Wigan uh, eight to eleven, so they're favourites to um, put one over the Saints. Probably because they're at home. Um, Saints five to four, uh, the leaders by six points. This uh, as we uh, do this recording this morning. Um, Bevan French, um, <coughs> the speedster from uh, Wigan, and Tommy Makinson, who's in fantastic form for Saints. They're both six to one to score the first tries. Uh, Jay Field is seven to one. Uh, Josh Sim ten to one, and Liam Marshall, um, he's eight to one um, to score the first try. Brilliant stuff. Well, Friday night under lights, it doesn't get any better than that. And we've got a big winner this week at Betfred. Jack Taylor, a bricklayer from Stockport, has scooped £32,000 from a £4 bet on the Irish Lottery. Peter, I always say this, but why can't it be me? <laughs> well, you've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, you um, And um, he did bet £4. Uh, he picked four numbers and they all came out on the Irish Lottery. Um, and he's won 32,000. He wants to know how old he is, this fella, but the bottom line <laughs> is that he's going to be retiring soon and it's come at the perfect time for him for his uh, pension pot. So you could say he's building his pension pot, wouldn't you? Yeah, he well. could. There you go then. There he is, the wordsmith. Well, we've got to review the weekend's action. So tonight, under the lights, it's Oldham Athletic hosting Aldershot Town. That's in the Vanarama National League and in the Betfred Super League tonight. We've also got Wigan taking on St. Helens. Of course, that's second v first. And if you do fancy a punt on any of the weekend's fixtures, Betfred stores are now open, but you can also bet online via our app.